Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Great weekend now, but we have a very interesting and a very important transit, which is of the planet Mars, which is in the nakshatra of Mrigsira at the moment. And I'm looking at the panchang.com. This transit is till 27th March, okay, uh, 2023. And then on 27th March, it's going to enter Aradhana Nakshatra, which is again the Nakshatra of Rahu. Okay. Why is this transit very interesting? Because Mrikshira is the Nakshatra ruled by Mars himself. Well, that's it. That's the reason. Well, <laughs> that's one of the reasons, but that's not the only reason. Uh, there are many reasons. See, Mrikshira is the Nakshatra, which is... Uh, inside the sign of uh, Taurus, right? Uh, but uh, if you see what happened, wh what are like, you know, the traits of this nakshatra, then you will actually realize that uh, this, this nakshatra, although it starts in Taurus and goes up to Gemini, but it has more traits related to Gemini. Hmm? Because if you see uh, this nakshatra's behavior, we know it's like that deer which has this Kasturi Mrig, which is like for the Western audience, it is like a flavor, flavor which it's like a scent which a deer has in his body, uh, which uh, the deer is actually searching. I, I don't know if exactly uh, if it's a deer or some other uh, animal or species, uh, you can correct me, but most likely uh, it's a deer. Uh, which is actually uh, searching the fragrance and trying to find from where is the fragrance coming. And this deer has no idea from where does it come. So what does this deer do? This deer goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on, keeps searching for this fragrance. And then it never finds it. And yet it is always intoxicated by the fragrance of uh, this Kasturi. So because of this, what happens? Uh, if a planet transits Mrikshira, there is something which uh, is uh, our situation is very similar. Now, when 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 I say our situation, what does it mean? It means the situation of the houses that Mars rules in your chart, depending on your ascendant. So, for example, if you are Aries Lagna, then Mars is your Lagna Lord and your eighth Lord, right? So then uh, your body, your health or you know, something to do with in-laws or other people's money, insurance, inheritance and all this, this can uh, go for a ride in the sense, you know, you may not appreciate what you have and rather you may be uh, wandering uh, helplessly, headlessly by thinking, I will get happiness somewhere else. Now, uh, this is not necessarily wrong, but the problem is, if we think that happiness is only outside, then this can make us very uh, empty inside. Okay, And this can uh, prohibit us from being grateful about the things that we already own. And if we are not grateful and we take them cheaply, lightly for granted, then it is possible that you know, in the future, uh, these things may be taken away from us okay, if we are not careful. So therefore, check which houses Mars is ruling in your chart. Now, I don't exactly know the date from when Mars entered Mrikshira. Let me check in rikpanchang.com. Maybe it's still there. Okay, 24th February. So it's quite some time there. You see 10 days almost. So uh, since last 10 days till 27th of March. You know, so another two more weeks. So from last 10 days, are you feeling uh, that you need something more in life? That something is missing in your life? Okay, so if you feel that uh, there is something which you need to do without which you will not be happy then uh, which is perfectly fine i mean we always have to upgrade ourselves nothing wrong with it but maybe there is still something inside your life which you need to look inwards and see if at all you are valuing that or not okay now um, as per the scriptural injunctions of the vedas the upanishads and the puranas the animals they have very less intelligence, okay? Now, that doesn't mean they're a foolish bunch of headless idiots not knowing anything, but it simply means that uh, they do not have uh, inquisitiveness for uh, spirituality, for religion, for God. You will never find a 
dog saying oh yeah, yeah you know i wanted to ekadashi like you know yesterday was ekadashi at least as per uh, the german panchang you know, in, in in india maybe it was day before yesterday uh, but you you could find many people doing ekadashis in india and in germany us everywhere but anywhere in this world you will not find a cat or dog or elephant saying oh i i need to do ekadashi you know they their their focus is only on four things you know? which is eating sleeping mating and defending okay? so they will eat uh, in fact whenever i go to vrindavan i see all these monkeys hovering around everywhere the only consciousness the only the, the only focus that they had that they have in life is they just need to put some banana inside uh, their mouth and that's all or they can take some fruit drinks from your cold drinks or your water bottle or anything like that you know if you're careless they will take it away from you Uh, and they are constantly uh, looking around for mating you know like enjoying with members of the opposite sex unrestricted unregulated uh, and that is why it is said you know uh, animalistic enjoyment where there is no, there is no limit regulation there is no number there is no count there is no system it's just like you are recklessly going on uh, indulging with anybody but uh, that's what animal life is meant for and then we have sleeping Uh, so you will keep seeing that you know many many animals you know they will sleep for so so long sometimes you know they will go for hibernation which is like the polar bear you know it's like uh, to a large extent it's in tamogun sometimes you see buffaloes they are just lying down there you know in the mud sometimes you see pigs are lying down in the stool not a very pleasing sight right and then there's defending we see you know the lion and the tiger you know the tiger is chasing the lion i mean i mean the deer uh, and the lion is chasing the deer and then you know snakes are looking for frogs and uh, the cat is looking for the mouse and so many so many things you will see you know that they they are just running around competing to eat you know to defend themselves okay so that's what animal life is so Mrigsira nakshatra, although as I said, has a lot of traits similar to Gemini, but this it can have a lot of prominent traits related to Taurus also, and that's pretty natural because it starts in Taurus, so which is you know like eating and uh, mating can be seen. Okay, and Gemini, as you know, you know, like there's competition, there's like communication, so there is this defending aspect is there. You know, so nonetheless, uh, what we need to understand. is that as per the vedic scriptures you know that we at a spiritual level we are jivatma we are not uh, these bodies as we think ourselves to be so we are spirit souls jivera swarup hoy krishna nityadas this is what the chetan charitamrit says the living entity's position is that he is eternally a servant of lord krishna but what happens is we forget this and we start thinking oh no no we are meant to enjoy in this material world right now enjoyment is fine there's nothing wrong with enjoyment until the time it is that level of enjoyment which is sanctioned by the scriptures if we go beyond that then we are uh, going into the uh, area of sin sinful life and whether you may be an atheist you may be religious you may be spiritual you may be an agnostic doesn't matter you believe there is hell heaven doesn't matter but if you go into the territory of sin forget next life forget heaven hell past life thousand lifetimes forget moksha forget all this in this very life you're going to be very miserable you know like look at the lives of those people who are having you know un- unrestricted intoxication like wine and unrestricted sex life you know how miserable they are right so uh, now regarding sexuality it is permitted that you uh can uh indulge physically with your wife or your husband but not beyond that okay and that too with only one person not more than one so if we if we cross that uh, red line then what happens is we we get into a lot of emotional turmoil and there can be diseases physically and there and spiritually everything is ruined okay so therefore now when mars transits mrikshira uh, if you are feeling that there is something which you need to do which is not very conducive as per the scriptural injunctions 
then maybe you need to put a full stop because that can give you this animalistic tendency which can come from this Taurus and Gemini, especially Gemini, not even Taurus, uh, to, to do things in an unrestricted manner. Uh, because of which we may be very happy and pleasurable in the short term, but in the long run, uh, it's going to make us very miserable. So look at your ascendant and see uh, which are those houses that Mars rules in your chart. And uh, especially if uh, Mars is lording your ascendant or it's lording your fifth house or it's lording your third house, then this tendency to enjoy can uh, be much more unrestricted. Okay. And you need to put a full stop. And this can also mean you know, like, you know, reckless eating anywhere, anything, anywhere, anytime, right? So which which may also not be very good, which may uh, lead to a lot of expenditure. So if Mars is your second lord, sixth lord, uh, or tenth lord, then you really need to check your expenditure. Because many times, you know, uh, you may be doing a lot of expenditure on things that you don't need, which you don't want but you are buying them to impress people who you don't like who and those people who never know you right so therefore now recently i have made some videos on you know like money which uh, the middle class wastes uh, i mean things on which the middle class wastes money on and so many other things uh, on friends and haters so please watch those videos you, you will get more idea of what i am saying here exactly so therefore um, and also the important thing is and then very soon you will see venus will enter aries okay uh, venus i think currently if i see drik panchang it is around 20 degrees of pisces uh, if i see today yeah then around eight days uh, it will enter aries where there is rahu so uh, therefore uh, after eight days until another 14 days when mars is still in rixira you still have that one week window and you know, because you know um, venus is like the lord of taurus and uh, this makes it energy starts in taurus so when this the lord of taurus goes and meets rahu and that too in the sign of aries this this behavior can uh, increase and we may feel more anxious more uh, depressed we may feel more you know, we may feel the anxiety to impress others to gain some validation which will not make us happy in the long run so therefore if you are feeling that you are not good enough, uh, you have to, you need to do things, you need to buy things and do show off, then maybe uh, it's high time that you try to rewire your consciousness and you try to see that life is much beyond all this, you know, impressing people who will stay in this earth for another 40, 50 years and then they will perish anyways. So, therefore, do not make your life miserable to get praise and do not get into unrestricted enjoyment because that will at the end make you unhappy okay so uh, do enjoyment but in the scriptural regulations in the scriptural limits and that and along with that uh, just doing that will not yield much happiness but doing that along with uh, scripture uh, spiritual practices which also our vedic tradition recommends like chanting mantras doing meditation and doing some social service, you know, reading the Bhagavad Gita, the Srimad Bhagavatam, or any religious text that you are inspired by, and traveling to uh, divine places, holy places, and uh, eating sattvic food, which is offered to God, vegetarian food without onion and garlic. Um, if you do that, then that is how you will actually experience higher happiness, which is, you know, beyond all these material requirements. So uh, take care of your material life, take care of your body, take care of your married life, take care of your profession, take care of your uh, social connections, but uh, do not cross the red line, which will ultimately make you miserable, okay? Irrespective of the fact you are an agnost or a believer or non-believer, it will make you miserable in this very life, okay? Even if you don't believe that there is afterlife or a heaven or a hell in the next life, you will still be miserable, and even if you believe this life is the only life, so even then, uh, why to make this life alone very miserable, right? So therefore, uh, if you're feeling you are like that uh, deer which is roaming around, hovering around and expecting to find happiness somewhere else, then maybe you need to find it 
inside yourself someday all right thank you very much for your patience if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation for me my website is also down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is hovering around thank you